Why is crypto going to the moon lately? Especially Ethereum and Cardano. What's behind it, these rocketing moves? This is neither financial nor professional advice. This video is meant for entertainment only. Ethereum has first mover advantage in the smart contract business. Uh, and there's also things that the NFTs, the non-fungible -fung uh, uh, assets, uh, and, and also crypto gaming is now becoming a thing where you can earn uh, crypto, crypto and spend crypto uh, playing these games. Uh, although when I look at those games, they, they look kind of shady to me, uh, or at least I'm not hearing a lot of good things about them. Uh, but but maybe, maybe that'll come along. Uh, but anyway, uh, Ethereum has first mover advantage and, and it's become a major part of Ethereum. And uh, it, Ethereum's not gonna go away. They have these contracts and they are updating their method of verifying transactions uh, they used to use a proof of work. They still do use a proof of work uh, method, which is having the computers overheat and burn up the environment <laughs> and making it so laborious it's impossible to hack it. Uh, and, 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 and Bitcoin will always be that, I think. But Ethereum, uh, it does that also. And it's, it's been able to do the smart contracts, but it can only do about 15 contracts uh, or transactions uh, per second. Um, that's going to be much too slow. Uh, the Cardano, they came up with a method called proof of stake. And this is not technically correct. This is the way I think of it. Uh, the holders of Cardano are more or less insuring uh, the transactions that take place, and they're insuring it by putting their money up first as a stake. If they decide to do that, uh, if they put if they stake their Cardano, they receive interest on it. Now, while your money is staked, you can't spend it. You can't do anything with it, but you receive, I think, five or six percent interest on it. Uh, and so, uh, and that speed is sped up transactions a lot. Uh, Cardano can now do a million transactions, or maybe over a million transactions uh, per, per second, and you're not burning up the environment. Uh, and, and essentially, it does away with mining. You don't need mining. Uh, and so there's, there's less cost, there's less fees. Uh, there's everything you like to see in, in, in commerce uh, taking place because of that. Ethereum is not standing still. Uh, they're, they're not going to uh, get their proof of, they won't get a change from proof of work to, uh, to proof of stake until 2022, but they will get it done. And they have first mover advantage and they and they have uh, contracts in place. And Cardano has been called the Ethereum killer because it's going to try to to eat Ethereum's lunch. Okay, and I I don't think that's going to happen totally. Uh, I I think uh, Ethereum 2.0 is going to catch up, and and they have their customers already, but uh, Cardano has a conversion tool for companies that want to convert uh, from uh, Ethereum to Cardano because of the lower cost and the faster transactions. They have a, a, a conversion tool. And this conversion tool is called ERC20. ERC20. Uh, that's their conversion uh, tool for companies that already are on the Ethereum smart contracts and want to convert to the lower cost and more environmentally friendly Cardano uh, proof of stake way of verifying transactions. The big switch for Cardano, uh, they're going to start their smart contracts on September 12th 
and they already have a hundred companies chomping at the bit to get started with Cardano. So Cardano is here as a force and it's here to stay. And there's a number of other fascinating things about Cardano. And I talk about this in a previous video I made on Cardano, uh, some of the social uh, and, and things they're doing in African nations. Uh, they're generally trying to make the world a better place and for that they're to be applauded. I think you want to get ready for some moonshots. Uh, Cardano right now is hanging around somewhere around uh, $2.80. I think it'll be over uh, $5 in the not too distant future. Uh, uh, Ethereum is hanging around uh, $3,500 right now. I, I think it could it could well go over 5,000 uh, by the end of the year. And, and I think by 2025, I think we'll be talking about it hitting 10,000. And I wouldn't be surprised if it goes much faster than that. When Ethereum gets their 2.0, uh, it's like uh, the world is open to them even more so than it is now. And they're having a big impact right now even. And it's just been going up and doing well for me. So I, I want to leave you with that.